Hello, my Aquarius singles, and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela, and this reading is for my Aquarius singles. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Aquarius, this is your weekly reading from... Uh, this is your... This is your July preview. Okay, so... As usual, this is not going to resonate with everyone as it is just a general reading. So the outcome may be different for you. The details may be different for you. Um, and it can go vice versa. First card out is the Justice card. Some of you are dealing with a Libra or the Justice System Aquarius. Okay, um, maybe you're a bit afraid of the outcome of a situation but as it pertains to love with this libra it looks like you might be having trust issues with this person okay you've seen the red flags now you're building a wall you could be a bit resistant to love with this person possibly because of a third party situation in the past okay some of you could have been dealing with a gemini or a sag Okay, with the Temperance card, Two of Cups. So this is like a real solid soulmate union that you had with this person. And this person may have left you for someone else, possibly a fire sign or a Capricorn. Okay, <clears throat> this person could have moved in with someone or definitely I'm seeing someone moved on from you or you moved on from them. Toxic situation full of drama, deception and, and temptation. Someone gave in. So, so you may have a water sign coming toward you. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Specifically, I see this as Pisces though, but it could be any of the water signs. Heartbreak and more fear, distrust, a lot of negative thoughts. Okay, some of you are definitely dealing with a Taurus there. Or someone could be stubborn stuck set in their ways to so someone that ghosted you by the pentacles okay and this like something happened that was just the last straw it's like someone decided that they were up to here they were fed up in the situation uh, due to some heartbreak regarding a three-party situation someone decided to stand their ground because of the seven swords seven of swords here there's there's um there was some type of deception here um, you may have caught this person cheating, lying, deceiving you. Now, with work, we're going to get to the cross watcher spread next. Mm. Excuse me, one quick second. With work. <sighs> Aquarius, I see that you have a lot of options. Or maybe you have too many options or too many things that you're thinking about. Too many things to deal with at once. I'm seeing deception. I'm seeing someone could be stealing from you, gossiping, stealing your ideas. Someone could be a bit covert and sneaky at work. And you're definitely healing, healing from a situation, healing from this relationship that you went through, going through some type of a healing process, trying to find balance with it all. This could be the father of your children, possibly, or a child. Or maybe you're trying to find some healing with your father or some type of father figure in your life. I'm seeing journey. So some of you are taking a vacation. Okay, you're relocating. Taking a trip, possibly with a water sign. There's definitely love here. Love with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, specifically Virgo here. There might be a Capricorn in the equation. Someone is wounded. Okay. It's like someone went through some type of really intense process. They're wounded. But they're still willing to uphold the relationship. They still want a chance here to reconnect. Someone could have changed on a spiritual level and I'm also seeing that someone is sad trying to mask their emotions maybe someone decides to come clean and be transparent 
or someone could be masking their emotions and I'm seeing fire sign Aries Leo Sag could be involved in this situation someone could have been scattered this is someone that was scattered thinking it could have been back and forth between you and the third party maybe you moved on because you needed some healing with work you're definitely feeling like the, the, the situations are someone sneaky conniving toxic at, in the work environment you're ready to leave you're ready to move on for something better but you feel stuck so I'm seeing a new beginning a new beginning okay so I feel like some of you could be seeking some type of higher learning especially spiritually you're ready and willing to learn something new and I'm seeing someone wants to make peace with you lilies could be very significant to your situation as well okay so I'm seeing a time of confusion see below there's duality there's like confusion sadness um a lack of clarity but the sun comes out again the birds the top someone's freeing themselves there's some type of mental clarity coming after um, a period of confusion okay some of you are connecting with a leo and i'm saying that someone is coming toward you with a message a message like i said a message of peace maybe what they've gone through whatever lesson that they went through was very painful they're wounded but they've learned from it they could have become someone different as a result okay maybe they've gone through some type of spiritual healing as well with the sun card being the happiest card in the entire tarot deck i'm seeing a lot of positivity some of you could be dealing with a virgo or a Cancerian with the chariot in reverse. One of you, um, you might be doubting that this person will give you a second chance because you feel that they've moved on. And um, Aquarius can go vice versa. You feel that they've moved on or you feel that there's been too much damage. So you're doubting whether there's, there's an opportunity for a reconciliation, but it looks like you're still willing to work on it and put the pieces of the puzzle back together. See, maybe you have a family with this person, some type of financial responsibility. I'm seeing new projects that you might be working on. Then you got the moon card followed by the ace of cups. So I am seeing a beginning after a time of mystery, a lack of mental clarity, confusion. I'm seeing you moving into a new phase that starts a new beginning. Okay, so let's take a look at the cross watcher spread. How is your ex feeling right now? What are they going through? Okay. Okay, but I forgot to show you another card. Ace of Swords. So we're going to have Fire and Air in their chart. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could be your energy, Aquarius. I feel like you want... There's someone that reaches out to begin some type of conversation. It could be the air sign or a fire sign. So for the cross watchers, Aquarius, your cross, cross watcher could be a Leo. Okay, I'm seeing that your cross watcher is interested in opening up their heart again. However, though they do love you, it's evident, they doubt whether or not there's really dedication here. They doubt whether or not you're really committed. They, they don't know that things are going to be different this time. Okay, you've lied to them in the past and they're still wondering, you know, has, has things really changed? Are we going to really work this time? Some of you may have a child. If I didn't say that already, I'm seeing references to children. Um, Crosswatcher could be a Libra, but they feel like you treated them unfairly, especially with having a third party. They're like, how could I compare to this one or how could you compare, how could you... There's no comparison is what I'm hearing. They feel like you're unwilling to take responsibility, unwilling to take, um, yeah, take responsibility for what played out here. Okay, 
So they might be thinking about traveling or they might be focused on moving on, saying I'm done, I'm leaving that phase of my life behind me. They might be saying to themselves, though I love this person, is it really worth it? Because will they give me um, a strong adult relationship without all the child's play is what they could be thinking. Because I'm, I'm feeling like your cross watcher definitely wants something solid. Yeah, they do, 10 of stones, home. So they want a solid home without all of the irregular uh, irregularities where there's just all of these, all this erratic behavior. They want something solid. For this, for some of you, this could be that the, your partner, there could be conversation, right? With the Ace of Swords that might spark this to happen when this person moves in with you. This person could be traveling to come and see you or someone, there could be talk of someone coming home. Yeah, the two of you had your challenges, your fights, they're thinking about that. They, they want to see if they can make it work. But by the same token, they're feeling a bit reluctant to do so because of the past history. It's evident though that they love you, like I said earlier. They love you. But they don't have um, they, they don't have a sense of clarity either with you. Someone's very protective. They're willing to work on it as long as you are, because they want to know that they know that you love them as well. They want to find balance and harmony. Here they want to intertwine their life with yours. They want to let go of the sadness. Some of you could be connecting with a Virgo. Yeah, they're healing. They may need the time and space to heal. Maybe that's why they're not speaking to you. They need some space here to heal. They're not as angry as they were in the past. Some of them, it's general. But that's what I'm seeing here. But they, yeah, they want a traditional relationship. They want to know that you want the same. And if so, they're willing to work on it but they're a bit nervous, just like you are. Yeah, they don't want this on again, off again thing anymore. They're saying if, if it's gonna be that, I don't have time for that is what they're thinking. So let's get some more details for the Aquarius. Singles. Aquarius, single sun, moon, rising. Some of you might be going back to school or learning something new, extending your education. Oh, you have something important to share. Some of you are becoming a teacher. Okay, that explains why books are here. Maybe you're becoming some type of teacher, maybe specifically a spiritual teacher. Spirit says, follow your inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Psychic insight. Your third eye is open, which is why body and mind is here. Okay, you're, you're getting focused. What is it, Q? You're getting focused right here. Um, spiritually, on something, you're learning something new about your sacred self. You're expressing your gifts. Okay. You all right? Sorry. Aquarius, single sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. Refusing to see. <sighs> This is one of you in the past. It's like you couldn't see what you had. One of you didn't know what you had. Yeah, I'm seeing Sagittarius. The archer. This one you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or a Cappy. Frustration. Frustration due to the past. 
someone might feel like you're harping on things, but I'm seeing there was a refusal to see. They didn't see the connection in the past, but now that they do, they're willing to work on it. Or this could be you, Aquarius. Master, I feel like you're mastering your heart, mastering your emotions, mastering something new that you're learning. Control. Someone may have had control issues in the past, or maybe someone is trying too hard to control the situation. But crown chakra. Spiritual insight. Third eye chakra. See that? I mean, you're definitely working on your spirituality. You're taking the lead, possibly with work, because with work, I'm seeing that, oh yeah, we already talked about work. Yeah, it looks like someone's trying to heal. Someone wants to heal something with you in Aquari Aquarius. And I'm seeing sadness and isolation. You felt alone in your relationship. Now this person is coming toward you to strengthen the bond. It's just that they didn't see how much you meant to them in the past. Now with throat chakra, they're willing to speak up. And they're willing to nurture the relationship. They're willing to work on it and strengthen the bond that was severed in the past for my Aquarians, yeah, so that you can move on to this new life together and yeah, higher power again, more references to spirituality prayer you're shining your light, yeah, some of you are definitely becoming spiritual teachers, I feel Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius singles divine timing it's only a matter of time I feel before the two of you get back together and have this ace of cups this is someone that left you for someone else only to realize that all that glitters is not gold they realize that they made the wrong decision and now they're coming toward you to be honest Okay, they've got some truth to share with you they're willing to be flexible and not so controlling because someone could have been that way in the past. Yeah, they're coming to clean it up. But one of you is maybe a bit impatient about things. You want things to play out here and now. Like right now, you're like, I want my love in my life right now. Why isn't it happening? Because it all plays out in divine timing. The timing of everything is out of your hands. So in the meantime, chop wood which means do it, take care of your priorities, focus on the things that make you happy, that build you up. Okay, Aquarius. Where are we? Aquarius singles. Purification. You're clearing out things that no longer serve you. Okay. Change. Change is inevitable. You're embracing this change. Someone has cleaned up themselves. All right. I'm seeing clean it up. Purification. Someone has changed. And they want to show you how much that they have changed. And they're going to speak up and have this communication with you to see if the two of you can get to this Ace of Cups. I'm seeing discontent and boredom on your job. You're not happy, Aquarius. You're wanting to do something else. Your intuition is nudging you. And you come up as the magician. You have the power to manifest what it is that you want. So you're not limited in, the, in, in any type of way. You might be feeling stuck. But this feeling stuck is just an illusion. It's just your mind playing tricks on you when you're not really stuck. And your intuition is telling you that you're not stuck. Listen to your intuition. Follow your intuition, especially also with your career path. Aquarius. Aquarius, single sun, moon, rising. Yep. You're going to hit the jackpot. Mm, sorry. <laughs> Things work out in your favor, Aquarius. You, you end up at the right place at the right time. It's like Lady Luck is making sure that it plays out well for you. You win in the end. 
you lost this person to someone else. So basically the cards are saying you win. Victory. Yep, and you've been waiting. Okay. Let's look into career a little bit more. I want to see if I can pull some more cards for your career. So we can specifically look at that. Aquarius, Aquarius. Some of you are definitely becoming healers. You may have this newfound interest in Oracle cards. Maybe some of you are becoming card readers. Can you resonate with that? I'm an Aquarius, Sun, Aquarius, Venus. I definitely resonate with, with that part. Light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, love, and light to this world. So you are becoming a healer. Whatever this change is that we just talked about, because I am seeing change, leads you on the right path. Spiritually and career-wise energy healing your natural energy healing abilities are, impo are an important life part of your life purpose i keep seeing references to energy healing and at the bottom career change yeah you're definitely finding your way looking for a new path willing to be flexible and not so by the book because maybe some of you feel this deep sense of responsibility and it makes sense though you know to make money but you're not making money doing something that makes you feel happy okay the spirit says embrace that change so let's take a look here let's pull an advice card for my aquarius aquarius singles Okay, let's do these. Bear with me, let me make sure I grab them all. Okay, let's go for it. Aquarius singles, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Holy Spirit, show me. Aquarius singles. The union of hearts, and there's true love. Hmm. This love is a once-in-a-lifetime love, and I'm seeing this is a connection of love that defies explanation. So I'm seeing a reunion. Express your love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. So someone could be coming toward you to give you a small token of affection. Could be these flowers. I do see reference to flowers. Some of you are connecting with a Pisces for sure. But yeah, that's what I see for you, Aquarius. This is your July preview. So I hope that this helps someone. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, you can, of course, book one on my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. And if you have any questions after you look at my website, um, feel free to contact me by email, which is angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. There is still a 20% sale going on. I have not um, taken the sale down, so it's still ongoing for those of you who are interested in taking advantage of that sale. And if you are interested in getting in touch with me on Instant Go, there is a special going on there where you can get $10 off towards... Um, an instant go service with me but keep in mind the only thing that I do on instant go is is answer by text so if you're interested in utilizing that the promo code is my name which is Angela go ahead and use that to get ten dollars off so everyone thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and comment peace I'll see you next week bye for now